they're fine on boxes. Yet another tabletop thing and another, or my first expansion for War 3 Team Yankee. Uh, and also a second book. Uh, and there's one, and then we are unboxing, well, that's why I just said. We were unboxing an, a, dice, a dice pack from Etsy for my uh, average trium dice. As well as the Warshaw Pact. Uh, what what else do you mean you call these things? Faction, well, these are faction books. Or faction guides. Well, this is the Warsaw Pack Faction Guide. I'm calling that for right now. And T72s, because I like T I've always liked T72s, and it looks like you can make any other variants. Uh, how many variants do you get in the box? No, you can make it whatever you want, okay. So I'll be making the most modern version. Which, by the way, looks actual normal to me. I, I, these ones look like, a, look like just bigger T62s. But yeah, all right, all right. So I guess let's continue. First off, let's start with the book because the book is easy. The book is fast. The book is thin. The book, the book is big. I like this book. Uh, this was thirty dollars. This was around fifty, so they're around seventy-two dollars together, or they are exactly seventy-two dollars together, including shipping. I don't know. Well, they're around seventy-two dollars because I did get a discount because this was when Min Miniature Wargaming had. A deal or had a deal for vault members with uh, vault members vault, vault members is our premium subscription service where if they uh, where if you where for the launch of the pre -order, uh, the launch of the pre order of this book and you got 50% off so yeah come on that may be that may be the thumbnail. Really nice book material. At least for the outer pages. Oh, the art carries to the back. The art carries to the back. That's actually pretty nice. See, that that, that carries to the back. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, you got check forks, forces. An interesting choice. Uh, they wouldn't be my first choice to put on the cover for Warsaw, for Warsaw Pact. Uh, maybe they would be. Actually, my first choice would be East German. By the way, uh, War, uh, War with the he takes place when Cold War's gone hot in the 1960s. And then you're continuing on to it in, the, in 1998 in these new books. The original novel and original and the original scenarios and the original units are all from the 1960s, 1970s, but the war continues on to 1985 apparently. It's like a particle war just going on. Uh, Open Lieutenant Fritz Fit, Fitter strode over to his school, waiting patiently inside there. Inside there. You cannot see that. Uh, inside their T-72 tank. Hold on. More than, uh, come on, turn. He greeted them. We're going west. Grab your gear and mount up. Fritzer had just... Oh, man, this is... It, it, like I said, it's a really big book. What do you want from it? Fritzer just moved to... No, we're, we're going west. Fritz was just searching for his baton briefing. It looked like like this year's Warsaw Pact maneuvers were just about morphing something more. He just received orders to assemble his company and move west to and move to the West Germany frontier. Once they were to avoid further orders, but rumors were uh, circulating that war was imminent. War is in fence is in ita italics. He pondered what was come. Uh, he and his crew, uh, he and his crew got on his own, uh, T-72 on the road and more, it was morning, August, 3rd of August, 1985. He pondered what was to come and how his crew will fare. We're getting interesting that the chicks are undercover because uh, the, the obvious, the more obvious choice be East Germans because I think the Soviets have their own book. Uh, we're going to put you back in the thing and do this. 
uh, each German Volksmann or, pe or People's Army has Volksarmee, something like that. That's, I said more like Italian, but anyway. Uh, or the People's Army has the reputation of being the most well trained of all the warship packed armies. It's a portion of professionally trained soldiers that is well equipped. Its best divisions are equipped with T set 2B or M tanks, or T set 2 M tanks, the BMP 1, BMP 2 infantry firing vehicles, and more, rifle, and more rifle divisions are equipped with fully motorized T 55 AM 2 tanks, BM1, uh, BMP 1s, and BTR 60 8 well. APCs. The Czech People's Republic fields similar equipment and unique vehicles as the Donna 152mm sub pellet uh, gun, the RM 70 multiple rocket launcher, and the OT 6 for 6 well APC. The Polish armies fight alongside the Soviets against capitalism. The, the Polish People's Army fight along the Soviets against capitalism. The Polish people ha have a rotation of part fighting nation throughout their long history. You're not going to tell us what the visions they have? Why did you tell me they're the gays? And why so short with the checks when the checks are on the face of the book? Or on the front of the book, but anyway. But anyway. Inside, so you find the background on the East German army, the Polish army, and the Czech army. And instructions how to build, all your stuff, including more advanced units, detailed painting guide, how you prepare your warship like for forces of combat, two scenarios, list your skills. With the War Force or Pack Force, designed in New Zealand, printed in Europe. Odd choice, odd choice, and was shipped in America because only this only took three days once it released. So yeah, very odd choice, very odd choice, being printed in Europe. Ah, fresh book. The map. Uh, the first scenario. Come on. Always, no, always nice singing Team Yankee stuff. Or uh, actually, the map of the setting. Just flipping through a few pages. So this book only has three of the Warsaw Pact armies. Like no Hungary, no. Well, else will be there. But anyway, okay, time to. I don't want to show you the entire book. You should still buy it. Another new thing, another new thing that I could have got but didn't because like the money's, uh, like the budgeting that, that, uh, that when I got this, uh, was the Fritter Fighter Bomber, the SU-22, which apparently is an upgraded SU-11, or SU-21, which I had no idea existed, by the way. And these are the unit cards, East German support. I have an actual East German hat, by the way. It, actually, it's my favorite. It's my favorite of the Soviet hats, the East German hat. Also, well, be fair, North Korean hats are actually pretty dope as well. Uh, but anyway, sample tunes. Where are our tanks, the BMPs? So it's also a catalog, and just telling you all the units, which is what these things are mainly for anyway. Giving you scenarios, lore, and telling you all your units. BMP. I want my tanks. Actually, I kind of looked at the concepts, didn't I? That would be cheating. That'd be admitting defeat. But right, these are these aren't well, medium tanks for our concerns. But I wanted the Warsaw Pack uh, book because I had the American back book, and we are mainly collecting Warsaw Pack and American and American. But I do also want. European book, uh, the European book as well. I wonder if they're gonna come out with an Asian book. The heck are T-72s? T-52s. T-72s, good, good. Oh, was it, or was it the SU-17 fritter? Uh, I forgot which one actually came out. I think this was the new one. But yeah, it's T-72s. And I'm not, and I'm not that. Okay, just a mission. Interesting that uh, they're spacing out the book between. Oh, here's the painting guide. 
<laughs> since they don't sell their own paints, uh, they're just like, I wonder well, who paints are you, who paints they use. Well, yeah, just painting these in the twos, okay. And, and we should have the instructions in the book as well. I mean, not in the book, in, in the box as well, but I just want to look through the book. Checks. You guys on the cover. That is an AK-74M, because it it's an AK-74M, not an AK-47, because of the flash rider, the muzzle device. And then these are units, which I'm not going to care much about. Uh, more catalog stuff. Well, I thought about getting the Warsaw Pack for uh, Warsaw Pack 10, but uh, I'll have to. I, I had to get out of the way for it eventually. Kind of maybe Shane got these all the all the three all the three thing all the three things in this video. But, uh, well, it's too late now. And I'm glad that I do have them. And then just the star boxes. Like, when you make one of these guys, you have to be really, really confident that this is all you're releasing. That this is all, like, your main stuff they'd be like, releasing for our foots. I'll just tell you what's in plastic, what it's not. He's in the two tank. The very back. Really good book. Really good book. I mean, it's, and you don't need it. You don't need it unless you want. I uh, don't need it unless you want. Unless you are a Warsaw Pact player, uh, or just interested in that faction and want to learn the, the lore and get scenario, get scenarios and all that good stuff. All you really need is this for all boxes after the dice bag because intermission time. I'm boxed down really anything. Dice bag. Let's see. Which one in the description too? Just uh. It's just a Galaxy, a really nice Galaxy dice bag. Uh, can't hold some issue dice, we'll see how true is that. Got nice purple dice. And not, not too much expensive dice, but the entire dice bag wasn't that expensive anyway. It was like $25 shipped, so. Really nice. Oh, it has a nice feel to it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's better. Looks way better outside of the bag. Yeah, oh, that, that's nice. Look at, look at Starscape. Okay, it's two things that you just twirled. How around to close? I just put around the. Actually, just do this. Oh, there we go. And then open it up. Now you can get it with pockets or without pockets. Oh, hello. Oh, that's big. I was not expecting it to be, I was not expecting it to do this. I was not expecting it to be, well, uh, I was not expecting it to be a dice board as well. So do be careful when you're opening it or else you're going to get a dice board. Uh, And then these are dice sets, which means only one of them, only, that means only, uh, yeah. that means unless I start playing D&D anymore, they're not really that useful to me, but well. Oh, that's well. I mean, it's not, it's not bad, it just exists. And that smell is mostly the creator's house. There you go. So I just gotta wait to accumulate to my house as well. Yeah, this works out pretty good taco bowl. I got a five. Now when I actually roll the dice, I'm actually getting good. I'm actually getting good results. Some like cherry, cherry dice, some pepper dice. Oh, actually, there are these. These are actually kind of helpful. I, yeah. Oh, we get two, two percentile. Uh, no, nah, well, these aren't. Oh, one percentile, one d ten. Okay, really, not, not bad. That close look up. 
close look at the D6s. They really feel nice. Really nice extra dice, or get you started dice. Which I wasn't expecting anything else. And D20, which are 20, there's your 20. That's all though. Alright. Uh, now, uh, well, let's put it in our two part actual taco bowl. I mean, uh, not an actual taco bowl. More like a fries bowl, but uh, anyway, actually, you go back here. That actually does work nicely as a taco bowl. Okay, let's go in here for right now. Okay, oh, that's, actually, that's actually pretty neat. And then look at that gold. Oh, it's so nice. Just a really nice thing. Okay. Out oh, come my Avatrium base. One. No, these pockets aren't gonna really do much. Yeah, I got, I'm not gonna. Ah, maybe. I, I, I guess they. I guess they're supposed to hold a dice at each. I guess I might as well let them hold my my uh, my fish room dice. Here we go. Ah, they won't even fit that. But these are in thirty. Uh, that I got thirty. Uh, I got 30 sixes of each color and 10 D and then and 10 percentiles of each color. Didn't need 10, I guess. Now I think about it, but oh well. I had, I had, I had 30, so uh, yeah, it definitely helps. It definitely helps everything. I don't know, I'll need to get another one of some description. I'm thinking about getting one of the, uh, like, Dice Banks. You know, the three gold bar one, uh, a brand. Um, or whatever it is on Amazon. You'll see it if I get it. Uh, I'm thinking about getting that. Oh, this is not going to work. Will it work? Will it work or won't it work? Come to me. Come, come to me. Oh, that won't work. Yeah. It said seven eight. <laughs> it means it. Be very careful not to strain it too much. Will any dice come out? Nope. That's that's closed enough. No dice are coming out if you really try. And then just will say tight. The only nut I know. And just lock it like this. There we go. Here you stay here. Now it's time for the thing you've been waiting for, most likely. Uh, the T seventy two tick coming in. That this book was printed in uh, in in Europe. That's really nice of them. I, 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 maybe a, uh, maybe it would be nicer. I mean, Zealand, but well. Where, where are these made? Malaysia. Okay. Also, why is it? Why are we hear anything shake?
help you get outside. Play of the pockets on this was an extra five dollars, so I'm glad that I got it just in case I ever need it. But well, uh, all right. I just want to look because it looks different now. That it has the shrink wrap off it. It's the small assembly guy just to show you how how you can fit them. Doesn't tell you doesn't tell you which version. Oh, it does tell you which version by uh, little by short by little outlines. Oh, it only gives you two. Okay, so it's just, it's standard for uh, Battlefront games to only give you two versions. Give you all the parts, but only give you two versions. That's all the tanks. Jesus. That's it. That's how you pack them. I don't think I want to do this. I don't think I want to do this. Why am I doing this? Ta da! Oh, there's more. Oh, there's turrets, of course. And it resin bit. Well, maybe resin bits. Actually, no, these are plastic. These are totally plastic. Tank commanders. Including one of the hat, the hat, oh, the hat stand, the hat stand. Nobody can see that. Dude, with that stand, dude, with that is stand. Saying yeah. Now it's the B and M turret, or maybe just the M turret. Or oh, okay, these are okay. These are all M's. Okay, all the M's. Very interesting unboxing experience, I must admit, how I did and these things rubbing together. Oh, dead. I don't like that feeling. I don't like that feeling at all. Oh, so I knew this was going to be fast. Oh, and this was packed by B22 Admin. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see that? There you can see that. There you go. Holes and trucks. So let's be more appropriate. Actually, well, actually, let's do this. There we go. That's how, oh, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. That, that's not my good. Note to self, do not rub tanks together. They do not feel good. Oh, okay. Oh, then these are, I think that's too belonging to the B. Maybe. Uh, the uh, smoke launchers. But they are the 6 M turret. Can, is that focus? Hold on. There we go. Uh, these are all the same. Don't know why I'm showing you them all, actually, to be honest. Because someone's going to want to know what they all look like. So I'm showing you most of them. And the track. There we go. Oh, and also the other side. Oh, they're really nice. And these things are huge. I mean, Abrams are huge just by, just in general. Ah, uh, but these guys are heated with. Oh, modern battle tanks are oversized, <laughs> including Soviet, including Soviet ones, including the Soviet T-14 Armada, uh, including uh, uh, including including Russian ones, which are known for their compactness and tininess. As long as it's not die, I say ignore that, ignore ignore being small and compact for that thing. And also, nothing was broken off, which was good.
That's creeping. Yeah, I gotta remember how I put it back in. But yeah, yeah, definitely worth it. Everything on screen is worth it. Except the box. This box was not worth it because it was not on screen. I know, I'm kidding, uh, but anyway. But, I mean, what is it with miniature comp? And also, do you know these freaking uh, spruce sprues? They look like wheels, but they're not. They're giant, too. I could really use that for something. I think, like a barrel. Or something. Also, I noticed the box is precisely. Oh, that thing about this was nice. Feels so. Like, rubbing my fingernails on the bo on the inside of the box does not feel good either. I mean, I'm sure it's just a me thing, but yeah. It, yeah. You would not recommend. I would I would recommend assembly as soon as possible. One reason, one reason to assemble your models quickly is they don't feel all yucky. In the Card showing I unboxed it. And we already saw the unit card. Actually, might as well unbox this. I'll be right back. No, I won't be right back. Not yet. I'm looking at the timer because, of course, 30 minute limit because in Europe, cameras only exist for 30 minutes and then they implode. Fortunately, the United States cameras, you know, last longer than that. And then he's a tank company. Oh, the T72Bs. Okay. So I guess we got one for each. These are really nice cards. I mean, yeah, this just has really nice cards, too. HQ. You're not going to see much. You know, already that's all this launch boxes on the front. Cause, oh, we're apparently calling effective tank tactics funny names now. Uh. T72 bland, T72 bland? BDA armor, okay. I do not remember what it was for, um, what it was for the T80s and the Abrams. Which, by the way, yeah, you may be wondering, wait, didn't this come in the, uh, didn't this come in the complete starter set? Oh, not the complete starter set. Didn't this come in the starter set? Actually, it might be complete starter set. Didn't this come in the starter set? And uh, I'll be like, no, no, actually it didn't. Uh, what came in the starter set was the T80 and the T60, or T62, so, and then for American, I mean, and, and a bunch of B&Bs or whatever. The things that no one cares about, uh, but anyway. There you go. Hopefully you could have read the last bit. Oh, that's a book. It's just, it's just no way, this is an actual booklet. Yeah, it's an actual booklet. It's a bit of just the formations you can use. Okay, just reminding you of how these things work. Nice work. Do use this folder option. Do this. Ooh, is that gonna work? Nah, it's not gonna work. The same size. And I'm just gonna put this in the container I have for all of the stuff I'm putting for all the stuff. Well, I might as well show you the shelf. Shelf. Um, I'm making. I can't take a picture of it with my with my, not my GoPro. Uh, but I have a GoPro. I can take a picture of it with actually. To be honest. Uh, but I don't, I, I, I need, I was not paying attention, it really should have a timer telling you how long you've been recording without recording. Go like this, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, like that, okay, there we go, there you go, that's the winner, that's the winning shot. Oh, right, 
that be it for this video. Thanks for watching. That be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching this video. Please ask me, ask me, ask me. Check out the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as our Facebook channel, which of course is Facebook channel. Be watching these videos and get your content from producing my sharing friends from the list. Is it worth it? Yes. Other than this wasn't very packed very well, this is actually definitely worth it. This being a tiny bit too small for my use, but it's fine. It's fine and it would be fine for anyone anyone uses. I just I just try to fit too much into it. Uh, which I do I guess I need to get a separate one for Well I plan on at least I, I plan on at least having uh two um oh well, purple, green, white, black dice, so three more so four more sets of thirty, at least sets of ten. Uh, but uh, four more sets of 30 d6s, and then, uh, and then I'll have to just cut back on the d10s because I don't need that many. But yeah, and that'll be sixty dollars, and that coming in time because I need to make the images with just images. I mean, uh, I, well, I need, I need to start figuring out the pictures for Abbey Trium. Uh, Abbey Trium strategies and treaties, basically fantasies. Uh, Basically fantasy and his basically fantasy and steampunk uh, uh, sandbox edition. And once I get that, and once I uh, start doing all the pictures for it, uh, and start figuring out what I need, then I can uh, start getting more dice because I will need more dice to show like a, a multi to show a multiplayer game in more than just two. Uh, show dice for uh, RPGs, uh, RPGs fake. Like have each like have each player have their own color of dice. Then show a multiplayer game uh, when multiple players on one side, on, one, on both sides, or well, on one team, all players on one team, multiple player, multiple well, multiple multiple players playing one army, multiple players, and playing different armies, multiple players playing one army. I don't need multiple players playing one army, and then uh, and then the solo guy, uh, playing solo guy, but yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, for that, I need at least I need at least all the main colors of uh, apparently of Abbey Trium is blue, red, obviously, uh, purple, green. Green's a bit random. Uh, then white and black. At least at least that's what at least we're using those colors on the cover. But anyway, oh, what's the GM gonna be wearing? I guess GM's gonna be wearing just kind of something like this, either galaxy or he's gonna be wearing a bit of all the colors. Uh, but anyway. Because the, the the cover art for sorry the cover art for the co sorry the cover art for uh, Abbey Trim is gonna have a is gonna be a, a table kind of look like an RTS cover where you got the where you got the GM on top then you got the uh, people playing the RPG then you got the two war game players in the bottom uh, so that'd be two six a uh, six to mean colors and then GM's gonna have all the colors. But anyway, oh, right, that'd be it for today. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching this video. with me. All right, said that again. Everything is totally, totally worth it. I'm really, I'm glad that I got this. Uh, even though, even though I have a giant pack log, as you probably understand, uh, from the fact that I, am, I have yet to paint one model, and yet I have tons of uh, things I need, tons of things I need to paint, uh, tons of things I need to, uh, well, assemble and paint. Um, but yeah, I want to at least get everything assembled. First, uh, I, I I want I well I want at least assemble, I want at least assemble a lot of things first. But I need I think I need to accrue more knowledge before I start doing the metal and the risen models. Uh, and I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to be able to assemble them in this room because of the dust, the toxic dust. But anyway, uh, or uh, well well cutting you got cut with resin, you got cut with metal and not sand it. Unless you really have to, and then you gotta do it outside. But then again, we have feral cats, uh, so yeah, that's not good. Um, they I guess over a trash can or something. I don't, I don't know. In the garage, but the garage is a dust trap anyway. I, I don't know. We gotta figure it out. But anyway, all right. That be that be for video. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you in a second.